Hello there, I'm Jesse Culver, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Hammer for Gary's Mod. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to set it up so that it pulls in all the information from your other games like Data Defeat Source and Counter-Strike Source so that you're not dragging and copying a bunch of files around. So to start, you need to get to your Gary's Mod folder. You can easily do this by right-clicking Gary's Mod, going to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Once in here, you're going to want to go to Gary's Mod, CFG, and then you're going to need Notepad++ installed for this. Um, if you don't know where to get that, just quickly Google it and download and install that. You're going to right-click mount.cfg. You're going to edit with Notepad++. This is going to pop up. So the way this works is you come here, add a name. So for example, I'm going to download or not download, I'm going to want to mount um, Counter-Strike Source. So I'm going to come back over here to Steam. I'm going to type in Counter-Strike Source. Go to the properties here. Local files, browse local files. The name of the folder that the assets are going to be stored in for Counter-Strike Source is C-Strike. So I'm going to name this C-Strike. Then I'm going to press tab like twice, come over here bring this back up, go into the C-Strike folder, copy it, do that, save, and then I'm going to close that out. Then I'm going to come back over here to the Gary's Mod folder. I'm going to go up one, two, and then you're going to see the bin folder. Go into the bin folder, and find hammer.exe and run that. Now you're going to want to click File, New. And uh, just to show you where it's like mounting stuff, you can come over here. In the messages here, it shows you everything it's mounting. So it's mounting everything in the Gary's Mod folder, inside the Gary's Mod, Half Life 2. Workshop, all that, and then down here you see it's also mounting Counter Strike Source, C Strike, C Strike Pack, VPK, and all the loose files inside of C Strike as well. So, to prove this, we come back over here. I'm going to make a quick platform, hit that, and come over here, and I'm going to make Quick prop static world model. And if we look over here in props, you can see CS Assault. Hey, look, it's an AC unit. And there you go. It's loading all of our uh, Counter Strike props. You can find everything in here. I believe under player, yep, there's the hostage models. Everything's there. And you can mount as much as you want into that CFG. The only thing you need to be aware of is if two locations have the same material name, for example, uh, there's going to be con there's going to be conflicts, and one's going to override the other, and it's all based on hierarchy and how these are mounted. I believe the lower one is down, the it gets priority. No, I think it's the reverse. I think the higher it higher up it is, the more priority it has. Um, feel free to correct me in the comments. I've never messed a whole lot with the priority because I really don't mount a whole lot. Um, but this is a quick and easy way to mount anything you want. Um, if you wanted to also, let's say, let's say we want to mount data feed source as well. So we're going to close that out. Close those two. Right here, and I type in data defeat. And this also works with um, things you probably don't think about, like that are source engine games. For example, Nuclear Dawn, that should mount perfectly fine. Um, Day of Infamy probably mounts fine. Uh, so, yeah, mess around with it, play around with it. So, I'm going to come over to properties. Local files, browse local files, 
It's a DOD copy. Press enter, double quote, DOD, close quote, tab it over, paste, close it, control S for save. And I'm gonna launch Hammer again here. Dev. Oh, dang it. There we go. Make our simple sloppy platform. Prop static. Put that down. World model. And let's see. I believe under player. Yep, there's the DoD player characters. Probably find some. Uh, yep, there's enormity props. Which, those are logs, I believe, from Counter Strike Source. But yeah, this works. Um, CSGO should work as well. Let's try CSGO really quick here. As you can see, I already had it in there. I just commented it out. Um, two forward slashes is a comment, so if you need to remove a line to test something, you can do that. Watch this again. New. Whatever. Texture browser messes up sometimes. Uh, static, create that. Let's enter world model. So yeah, fairgrounds. There you go. Got your Counter Strike source or Counter Strike Global Offensive models in here now. And this should work, I believe, for all Source Engine games. I believe Gary's mod has been configured in such a way that it plays nicely with all the formats and everything now. Um, if you run into something like a problem, feel free to leave a comment. Um, feel free to post a message on the forums here on the source engine section. You can quickly find it by going to community discussions. Scroll down to... Where is it? There should be a tool section here. Oh, tools and servers, here we go. And here's the source engine forums. So of course, if you have a general question about this, feel free to post it here. Um, I get notifications here automatically whenever something's posted. Oh wait, no, this is the old forums. New forums got their own hub, which you can find here. So yeah, post here in the source SDK hub. Um, link to this is going to be in chat. Also, feel free to probably post it to your questions to Face Punch's forums or maybe even their forums here on Steam. But if you want me to respond to it, feel free to post it here in the Source SDK forums. Um, I do try to respond to the comments here on YouTube, but hey, sometimes there's just not enough room. Um, Source SDK forums are just much more clean. So yeah, that does it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, again, leave a comment. Until next time.